Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today we have a Jinlong inverter, and if we have a look at the screen of this one, it's just showing status initializing, and you can see the power light is on full, uh, on constant, and the operation light is flashing. If your inverter is having the operation light flashing like that, it actually means this inverter is not working. That green light should be on constant when it's operational. And we can see it's just stuck on it, uh, it's a bit dark, but that's, that status is just set on, stuck on initializing. If we use the down button, we can see it says power, zero watts, so it's not actually producing anything at the moment. So we need to obviously work out what's going on there. If the sun's out, that should be working. One thing which would be good to check before you go much further is press the enter button. And we go to, uh, straight away go to information, press enter on information. And we can see that we got voltage on the DC side, 223 volts there, so that's all right. And we've got voltage from the grid there as well, so that's okay as well. So this tells me if this is staying on initializing, it looks like it's an issue with the actual inverter. Now one thing you can try if you ever have an issue with an inverter is try a reboot of the system. It's a bit, it can be a bit like a computer. It can have little glitches which are shut down and reboot might possibly rectify. So what we'll do to uh, carry out that is go to follow a shutdown procedure such as this one here, which is turn off the solar supply main switch. That would be located in your switchboard or inverter AC isolator if present. We got one here, so there's an inverter AC isolator. And then we follow the instruction B, turn off the PVA DC isolator located at the inverter. In our case here, we've got a PVA DC isolator located over here, so we're just going to throw that off. And we're going to wait for the inverter to go completely blank. See it's coming up with the alarm light at the moment because it's not detecting the grid. Status no grid. And I'll wait for it to shut down completely. Like so, the screen's gone completely blank. And then we're going to try and restart the inverter. Now the restart procedure is nowhere near as important as a shutdown procedure. Just need to turn everything back on. So we're going to throw on the DC. And we're going to throw on the AC. And see how we go here. So you can see the inverter's trying to start up there. We've got the red power light on. And the green operation light should come on shortly. So you see on the screen there it's saying power zero watts at the moment. So whenever it's saying zero watts of power it's been produced, it's obviously not producing anything. So there we go, we've got the green operation light on, status initializing. And I recommend you wait around five minutes just to make sure that the inverter doesn't start up. Obviously if it starts up, if it starts producing power, that's fantastic. It, it should, if, if it's actually producing power, it should come up with status generating rather than status initializing. And when it says power there, it should have the wattage of power being produced as well. Whereas obviously if it's, set, it's stuck on zero, it's not producing anything. If it's stuck on initializing, it's not actually producing anything at all. So if your inverter after five minutes is still stuck on initializing and producing zero watts, it is an issue with your inverter. The inver Jinlong inverters, came with five year warranty, so you can potentially get it re replaced under warranty if it's within the five years. If it's outside of those five years, I'd recommend replacing it, replacing the whole inverter that is, with a good quality brand new inverter with a full factory warranty. You could try and get the inverter repaired, however, you're just throwing good money after the bad. It could cost you $500 or so to get it repaired, yes, if they can, and you're still left with an inverter with no warranty, so you might as well bite the bullet, spend a bit more money, and replace it with a good quality replacement inverter. If you're near the Gold Coast or Southeast Queensland area, Gold Coast Solar Power Solution can certainly help. If you're somewhere else around the world, I'd recommend you get in contact with a local solar accredited electrician who can help you further. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful for you.